Yes, the most important thing is to realize our priorities simultaneously, because now it's the time of recovery, as we all know. Uh, we, the mayors of the cities, are now dealing with COVID and we are fighting with the epidemic. But we cannot lose our priorities from sight. And obviously, Green Deal is still one of the most important priorities that we have to implement. And if we really want to improve the quality of life, if we really want to invest in, in innovativeness, and if we, of course, want to save the earth, uh, this has to remain our priority. And we, the regional authorities, we, the mayors of the cities, are very much committed. Some of our governments are not that much committed. Some of our governments are now just focusing on COVID. And we are, of course, fighting COVID, but we are also looking into the future. And that's uh, the uh, position of the Committee of the Regions. And I've been at numerous uh, occasions uh, actually coming up with uh, this uh, thinking and trying to convince everyone, all the stakeholders, uh, in order to take exactly the same position. The, uh, the, green, uh, the green and Climate Pact should actually enable us uh, to cooperate closely between the local and regional authorities and the European institutions. That's why we are actually pushing the Climate Pact forwards, because we want all the stakeholders to cooperate with each other. And, of course, the Pact should act as an umbrella initiative with its own branding for the existing and future local climate pacts as they evolve. Now, some of the most important things that I always, um, that I always try to highlight uh, is the question of funding. And uh, that's why we are fighting as the representatives of the Committee of the Regions for um, providing direct funding to cities and regional authorities under the umbrella of the Climate Pact. Why? Because we want the uh, results to be uh, quick, to be palpable, to be seen by the population, so that we can actually uh, make sure that there is the win-win situation is recognized by everyone. And that's why we would uh, urge the European Commission to come up with uh, pan-European programs. And I always give the same examples, such as saving energy uh, through uh, cyber solutions, uh, such as taking uh, the diesel-powered buses from the streets of our cities, and so on and so forth, and then realize them together directly with the concerned cities through providing the direct funding. And of course, most of the money uh, will be still channeled to states by uh, national envelopes, but we should provide for as much direct fi financing as possible. Such possibilities already exist in the structural funds, and we've been fighting for them to be more ample. But once we uh, start working and finishing um, the uh, recovery instruments and also the, uh, the green instruments, we should take care that uh, this direct funding is uh, being uh, provided. We should also uh, put the education at the center of uh, the whole exercise to create a new culture of environment and climate protection. We are doing it as a mayor of the cities because we invest in the young people who are fighting for climate change and we are investing in all of those who are actually uh, uh, doing uh, their utmost to educate uh, the uh, population. Uh, and uh, finally, the Climate Pact should further develop um, uh, all of the uh, uh, possibilities uh, of the regional authorities to cooperate. And of course, we in the Committee of the Regions are very much consolidated uh, and we have a common position thanks to all your work, but we need to support the Convent of Mayors, the Eurocities, in order to um, strengthen our position as the position of the uh, local and regional authorities in the negotiations with the other European institutions, because it is very important that the uh, position of the Committee of the Regions is reinforced and that we are listened to in these difficult times where we, the cities, the regions, are at the forefront of fighting with COVID and where we want to participate in recovery and to actually play at the same time simultaneously at different pianos. I wanted to thank you very much for all your support, for all the work uh, that you've uh, channeled through as the members of the Committee of the Regions into supporting uh, my opinion and in supporting our opinion. And we hope that the impact that we are making together on the European institutions will be uh, effective and that finally uh, some of our ideas will be uh, put into practice through the uh, interinstitutional negotiations. Thank you very much.